Hello, this is Alexey. I continue to publish video tutorials and reviews. If this video will be useful to you, please subscribe to my channel and click on the like button under this video. In this way, you will help other users to find necessary information and my channel will be run better. All links from the video can be found in the description below. In previous three video tutorials, we create website on Joomla 4 from scratch. We use only three extensions. The result was a business website, which was uploaded to the hosting. The previously recorded video tutorials for Joomla 4 are almost completely relevant for the current version of Joomla 5. The information and video tutorial from this video tutorial remain relevant for Joomla 4 as well. At least this is true on February 3, 2024. In this video tutorial we will talk about Joomla Smart Search. Smart Search is a built-in Joomla extension for searching information on the website. An extension consists of component, module and plugins. To display the search on the site in addition to the module, you can use the menu item. With the help of plugin, search can work not only with built-in components, but also with third-party ones, for example, with Vertermart. On my website I use Google Programmable Search Engine. For example, let's see this. We have some results and now let's look for Joomla but with 3.0, with a mistake. And we can see that the search is understanding my request and it's understand that Joomla with 3.0s means Joomla with 2.0 and it displays some results. Also here we can see some images for my request. In an article on my blog you will find a comparison of Joomla Smart Search and Google Programmable Search Engine. And now let's start setting up Joomla Smart Search. First thing you need to do is go to Smart Search, Index and click Index. Just wait for a few seconds and after index were complete you will see table with indexed content and now let's add some module here in menu position. Go to system, modules, how to work with modules you can find out from my previous video tutorial. Let's add new module, smart search, I will call it Smart search for the position will be search. On all pages, just save it. Let's see what we've got. Let's change some settings. Let's hide search field and show search button. OK, we have our module. Now let's create menu item for our search results. I also will call it just smart search. Save it. Update the page. Here we can see our new menu item. Let's go back to our module. And here let's select Smart Search. Let's see how it works. We can see some results. We can see Advanced Search, some filters. And now let's see how we can change the settings of this page. First of all, if we go back to our menu settings, here we can see some options, but we won't change them here, we will change them in the component settings, how to work with menu items, how to create them, 
modify and so on, also how to work with menu, you can learn from my previous video tutorial. And now, as you can see here, we have option Use Global, so we need to go to Component, Smart Search, and go to Options to change global settings. For example, we can hide this information, just click here, save the page, and the information disappeared. Also, if you want, for example, hide just category, go to Plugins, Find Finder Type, here you can see some smart search plugins. This is an article, so I need go to Content plugin and disable, as you can see, category, for example, category. If I'll update the page, nothing will change. To see some changes, go to Component, Smart Search and reindex all component, clear index and start index again. Now let's see what we've got. And now as you can see there are no category data in this area, so if you want to add or delete some information from taxonomy data, you need to go to plugin disable or enable necessary option and then reindex whole site. You can disable description, for example this text. You can change the number of characters of the description, for example like this. As you can see there are more text here, or for example like this less text. You can show result image, you can add link image, for example click here and we go to Joomla article. Let's see where we can find the image. For example here there are no image, but here we can see it. Let's go to Content, Articles. How to work with articles and categories you can find out from my previous video tutorial. Let's look for Joomla article. Here it is. How to work with this editor you can find out from my previous video tu tutorial. Let's go here and we can see this image. We can see it here, so the smart search find it not in the body, but in the intro image. Let's go back. I will switch off this option. Also, you can show result data, for example, this, or you can hide it. Also, result URL. This information. Here you can enable gather search statistic, for example, let's enable it. Go to search terms. Here we won't see any data and now let's look for Joomla form. There is one result. Update the page. We can see that someone looks for Joomla 4. One hint and one result. For example, let's look for Joomla. Update the page and we can see Joomla, one hint and 12 results. For example, Joomla 5, the same thing, and for example, let's say Joomla with 3.0, no results. In this way you can analyze your search phrase and decide what to do with your content. For example, if you see Joomla with 3.0, you can understand that this is a mistake, and if you see Joomla 5 with zero result, you can 
write an article and this way you will help users to find necessary information for them. Let's go back. Options. Also, you can disable these options. For example, hide these options from here. Let's look for Joomla. And we can see that there is no advanced filter, no search suggestions and so on. Also, as you can see, I disable search suggestions. Let's enable it, update the page and let's enter Joomla and we can select Joomla from the suggestions. Also, you can change sort field, for example, not the relevant, but title, data and so on, and sort direction, design or assign. In the next index tab, you can change the rank formula. By default, we can see that past text has the most weight. As you can see, that's two. The second is title text, 1.7, but you can change it and in this way the title can have more weight than other elements of the search. Also, here you can change default language. If you have multi-language website, you can change the language. How to create multi-language website we already saw in my previous video tutorials. Also, you can filter numeric terms. Let's enable explanations. Save it. Let's search for Joomla. We can see 12 results. Let's search for Joomla 4. We can see 12 results. And now let's disable this filter. Let's go back. Search for Joomla. We can see 12 results and now let's search for Joomla 4. We can see one result. So, you need to test your site and decide which settings are better for you. The next tab we already saw in previous video tutorials. Here in the permission tab you can set up some rights for certain Joomla user groups, how to work with Joomla user groups, you can learn from my previous video tutorials. And now I want to show you how to work with plugins. We already saw plugins, for example, content, when we want to disable some taxonomic data here. But you need to know that plugins is very important for smart search. Without plugins the content won't be indexed and it won't be shown in the search results. So, if you have some additional component on your website and you want the user to search in this component, you need to install and enable plugins here in the plugin manager. Also, if you don't want, for example, content to be indexed, just disable it, go to Components, Smart Search. For example, here in Content Map you can see some results, categories, tags, outer language. Here in Index you can see some results and if you clean the data and re-index the whole site, you can see that there are some data here. But if we look, for example, for Joomla, we can see that there are just two results for category and tag. There are no results for articles, for content. So let's go to plugins, just enable it. And reindex. Let's go back and search for Joomla again. There are results for content and now it's worked just fine. Here in the content map you can see some statistic information and the next tab is filter. Let's work with it. 
For example, we can see that we can look for Joomla here. We have 12 results and now, for example, add, let's add new filter. I will call it Joomla. And for example, I just want to use it in articles. Save and close, go to Site Module, Smart Search, and here in Filters let's select Joomla. Let's go back and look for Joomla from the module. As you can see that there are 10 results. Why? Because one result from category and one result from tag were filtered by our Joomla filter. And now let's go to menu item Smart Search and look for Joomla here. As you can see that there is 12 results. Why? Because for this item there are no filters. The filter was applied just for this particular module. So just know that's how it works. I hope this and other Joomla video tutorials have helped you with this CMS. In the next video we will work with several useful Joomla plugins. If you have questions, please leave them in the comments. If this video was helpful to you, please give it a like. Also, don't forget subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching. This is Alexey. See you soon in new tutorials.